Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking. How was your day? Uh, kind of tough. Kind of, kind of what? Excuse me. Tough. Oh, I see. All right. So it was a busy day. Okay. Okay. So we are just like ready. So good evening, everybody else right here. So let's see who is already here. So Milagro, Juan David, Norma, Patricia, Roberto, Ronald, Senia, Ingrid, and Carla, who is joining the class. Good evening. All right. So let's start right now with this. Give me one good quick evening. second. Okay. Okay. This is the one. Okay, let's see here. I'm just sharing my screen right now, so it's going to be ready soon. Oh, I can see more people joining the class. That's awesome. Okay, okay. So let's see. All right, all right. Very good, excellent. So everybody, let's start right now officially. So we are going to uh, start our class right here with the first activity, which is this one you have right here. All right. And as I told you yesterday, right, I like to start the classes with my uh, tongue twister, right? So we can put into practice our knowledge and to stay with like, you know, pronouncing it correctly, focusing on final sounds, etc. right? So let's say this one, take a look at this one and you can see that one there. All right, I will repeat it for you first and then you can continue practicing it, okay? So let's say this one, it says, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? One more time here. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That's a tongue twister, but you don't have to read it like that. You have to read it something like, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Like that one. Exactly, exactly. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I will give you one minute to practice. Okay. So you can practice there. Right. So and practice the pronunciation. And then I will ask for my volunteers. All right. Remember, remember, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Just practice, 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 practice. Just one minute to practice. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So let's see, let's see. Mm, you still have one minute, one minute, all right? Just for practicing. Good evening to everybody else who just joined the class, okay? So let's see here. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh, there you go. Excellent. All right. How much more? Okay, okay, you finish, time's up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's start right now, everybody. And I wanna see who's going to be my volunteer, my volunteer, volunteer. Huh? First volunteer. Mm -hmm. And my volunteers, where are they? Oh, Milagro there. All right. Thank you, Milagro. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. How much wood could I wood shark shark if I would shark could shark wood? <laughs> oh, my God. That was easy for you. It was a piece of cake. All right. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good it's job. It's like a song. <laughs> it is. Actually, it is. Yes. It sounds like. 
All right, so Sounds well, like now we well. have here Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Thank you for being the volunteer. Tell me. How much wool called a wool chalk chalk is a wool chalk wool chalk wool? Thank you. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. You did it good. Uh huh. Who's my next volunteer? Cool. All right. Okay, excellent. Ooh, I have a lot of volunteers now. Let's see. Alicia, go ahead. You're the first on the list. Good morning. Uh, okay. How much wool could a wool chuck chuck if a wool chuck cool chuck what? Wood. All right, excellent. Thank you. Now, nah, people, this is super easy for you, right? Tomorrow, I will have a more difficult tongue twister because mm -hmm. this is easy. Thank you, Alicia. Good job. All right. Eh, Roberto Miranda, go ahead. Okay. Uh, how much wood could a woodchuck shock if a woodchuck could shock wood? There you go. Excellent. Super easy for you. All right. So let's see. Next one. Huh? Thank you, Norma. Go ahead. How much we call a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So let's use my next volunteer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> George, that was George. Sure. How much would cool a wood chuck chuck if wood chuck chuck cool chuck wood? Cool chuck wood. All right. Awesome. Thank <clears throat> you. Who's next? All right. Carolina, hello. Hello. Okay. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Hey, almost perfect, but good job. All right. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And where is Juan David? Where is Patricia? Where is Norma? All right. The two Patricias. Uh-huh. Okay, teacher. I I try. Okay. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? There you go. Thank you for trying, all right? Uh -huh. What about the next? I need three volunteers more. Come on. You can do it. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you, Senia. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's how much wood could I would chuck chuck if I would chuck could chuck wood? Oh, my God. That was as easy as ABC for you. All right. So, super good. All right. Two more. Two, two, two volunteers more. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A lot of people in the class and no more volunteers. What happened? Oh. Okay, okay. So let's see who else. Ingrid, hello, Ingrid. Oh, and then Renee. Okay, Ingrid, go ahead and then Renee. Uh -huh. How much good cool I would have chuck chuck if I would chuck full chuck good? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Renee. Go ahead, my friend. How much good cool a good chut chuk is a good chuk cool chut good. There you go. But remember, it's not chuk, it's chuck. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for participating. All right. So that is just a good way to start the class by right? practicing with a very easy tongue twister. Yeah. And as I said before, right, as I said before, tomorrow, more difficult tongue twister because that was easy for you. Okay. Let's see what the book has for us. Uh, tonight so is actually we have a question here everybody do you get annoyed easily all right what is annoyed mm -hmm. Listo. yeah like upset like angry all right do you get angry annoyed or upset easily mm -hmm. yes or no mm -hmm. yes sometimes sometimes well, it let's depends. do something. Here on the screen right now, you can see a survey, like a test, let's say, right? And we are going to see how many points do you personally have to see if you are considered an angry person or not, okay? Let's see. I need a volunteer who can help me with the number one. Number one, number one. Uh -huh. Just reading. Go ahead. Uh -huh. 
oh my god what happens i'm just want someone who reads i go don't ahead. like go it go ahead uh -huh. i don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom okay do that actually makes you feel annoyed to you milagro no no mm. Not really. Not really. Maybe just the teacher, right? <laughs> All right. Excellent. So, okay. So, this one, no la vamos a seleccionar because they said no. All right. In my volunteers here, tengo a Roberto. Roberto, number two, please. Okay. Number two. It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, no. No. Okay. So, he doesn't no. get angry. Entonces, llevamos Everybody la... can forget her name. <laughs> okay. Happened. Yeah, that could happen. Exactly. All right. So, thank you. Thank you for understanding. Okay. So, then, Alicia. Okay. Number three, I hate it when people talk with their mouth full. Ooh, all right. So, when people. Yes. yes. So, that's a yes, right? Definitely. All right. So, yes. Yes. All right. Definitely. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who can help me with the next one? Oh, no problem, George. I understand. Uh huh. Uh, anybody else? Uh, okay, teacher. It upsets me, me when a close friend forgets my birthday. Oh, your friend forgets your birthday. Do that makes you feel angry? No, no, it's no problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. All right. Very good. Excellent. Rene, can you help us with the next one? Thank you. I can stand it when people talk low, loudly to each other during a movie. Imagine that one, people. You are at the movie theater, like Cinemark, all right, or or Cinepolis, watching your favorite <laughs> movie, and you hear people like, "Look at this!" Oh my god! All right, so that's annoying. Yes or no? For me, it's really annoying okay. this situation. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, llevamos dos people. All right. So thank you. What about the others? Any other volunteer? Thank you, Carolina. Go ahead and then Norma. Uh -huh. okay. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. Mm, early in the morning. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Carolina? No. No, no, Just right? Late in the night. It's it's <laughs> the opposite. Okay, very good. Late so well, we will say like that one, all right? We will say yes, but we will change morning for late at night. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, next one is Norma. All right, Norma. The microphone, Norma. I can stand if when a child screams in a restaurant. E, my friends. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, what do you no, think? I can stand I went child screen in a restaurant. Yeah, imagine that situation, people. I mean, yeah. I am a father, right? But sometimes it's uncomfortable when the little kids are screaming in a restaurant. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Right. So yes. I will say yes. All right. So good. Yeah, almost four. Let's see. Uh, Patricia, hello. Hello. Okay, it, it bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. Mm, imagine when you wake up early to go to the hospital and the doctor arrives two hours later. Mm -hmm. Well, here in El Salvador, in general, doctors arrive arrive late. Right. Late. So, uh, so uh, are you telling me that you are used to that? Uh, sorry? Are you used to like doctors arriving late? Yes. Okay. So, but that, that doesn't bother you. It's like normal for you. No, 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 no. I think it's it's like a, a tradition here <laughs> in El Salvador, at least here in El Salvador. Right? Of course, right? So the doctors are normally late, especially when you have yes. an appointment, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Excellent. So, okay. We got one, two, three, four. Let's see what the book says about this one. So we only have four. Let's see. What's the um, answer right here? Okay, so here we have the results. The results says this one. One second, you will see the results in a moment. There you have them. 
All right, so do you remember how many complaints did we get? We got four, four. right? Yes. All right, so it says right here, mm -hmm. we have like four complaints, all right? So, so it you're, says- You're fairly easy You're going. fairly easy going, all right? So what is easy going? So- do you, do you know what is easy going, people? Yes. Yes. All right. You so, take it easy. Like you take it easy, like no problem. You know, I get along with everybody, so I don't get... I'm going relaxed. Yeah, exactly, right? So, yeah, okay. So that's why this class gets along easily because everybody here, it's easy going, right? Well, very good. So we already answered the first question for tonight, which is to know if you are... Um, you know, you get annoyed easily or not. Now, let's just review the next activity here and see what's next. All right, so, okay. So we have those classes with it plus adverbial classes with when. All right, so then we have some vocabulary here that we can learn. So take a look at this one's right here, all right? Look, it says here the first one. Everybody repeat it with me. I don't mind, repeat it, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. mind. I don't mind it. All right, excellent. So, do you know what is I don't mind? I don't, I don't mind. I don't care. Like, I don't care or it's not important to me. You yes. know, it's, it's, like, it's not a problem. Whatever, right? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Exactly. All right. So, and then we have this one. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like it. Right? So, when you are expressing something that it's not for you, you don't like this one. All right. Then this one, I can stand it. Repeat it. I can stand it. I can stand it. Right. Exactly. Like, for example, when there is that person, that neighbor, or that coworker that you don't like, and then the person comes to you and talks to you and says, like, you are like, oh my God, I can stand this person. All right. So, what is can stand? Um, no puedo manejarlo. No sé. Like, like that one, no or like, I, yes, no like that. Him. Exactly. No soporto. Exactly. No soporto. <laughs> yes, all right. Do you know someone that you can stand? Someone, someone, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, all right, hey, that's good because that shows that you're easygoing, so you get along with everybody, right? But I saw some faces there that say, like. Yes. All right. So, well, let's see. Uh, what about the next one? It bothers me. Repeat it. It bothers me. It bothers, it bothers, me. bothers, me. bothers, me. bothers me. All right. And this it one, it's like me. you are affected by something that happens, right? So, it bothers me. So, what is it, people? Me molesta. Me molesta. Exactly. All right. So, like that. Very good. And then this one is similar. All right. It upsets me. All right, but this is like when you get angry, it upsets me, right? Repeat it. All right, upsets me, correct, right? So, like, for example, imagine that you are late and you are in a hurry, so you have to walk fast, and then someone in front of you is so slow, walking in a slow way. So you go like, oh, my God, it upsets me whenever the people don't hurry, all right? So very good. Okay, so now we are going to learn, I mean, those things right here. Pay attention to the structure, right? So the clauses with it are those expressions, all of them ends with it, all right? Or they can start with it. And then automatically you connect them, I mean, you connect them with when, all right? And then we continue with the activity or the action that completes the class, all right? So for example, it says right here, I don't mind it when people talk loudly during a movie that can be one of them all right so or what happens if for example we just try to match them let's see if you can match this ones like this or like that or like that how would you match them let's see i don't okay. mind it in which of them will you would you select okay it's mm -hmm. okay I don't mind it. When a teacher forgets my name. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems like it's okay. It's normal. It happens, right? So it's not a big deal as we say it, all right? 
Uh, okay, I don't like it. Which one would you choose? I don't like it. Um, I don't like, like it when the cell phone rings in the classroom. Okay, when the cell phone rings in the classroom. Okay, that's fine. All right, I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. What is it? When people arrive late for when a child scream in a restaurant. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, but some also have different opinions, right? But that's fine. Remember that. All of them are, you know, according to the clauses, so they you can match them as you prefer. All right. So, okay. but I will choose one example. So I can stand it. When? I can stand it. Uh huh. When Just people talk loudly, it people arrive late. Right? Children, people arrive late. Yeah. Somebody said there. All right. Okay. We got this one right. Remember mm -hmm. that this is not only the correct answer; it's your preference. Mm -hmm. Like yes. you match it with I, that one. All mm -hmm. right. So then. It bothers me um, when people talk loudly. When people talk loudly during the movie. Okay, and the last one, it upsets me. Uh, when the child screams in the restaurant. <laughs> oh my God, poor kids! <laughs> All right, so let's oh. see. All right, excellent. So, do you have questions about the vocabulary or how to use these clauses? No. No. Um, no. No, 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 no. All right, excellent. Is there any is there any difference between bothers me and upsets me? You know, upsets me. It's, it's different actually, level. I mean, they both mean molestarse, right? So, mm -hmm. but uh, bothers me. It's let let's say a little bit lighter. You know, like lighter, not that much, see. right? So, like if I want to express mm -hmm. more anger, I would use upset. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank That's you. like the big difference. All right. Uh, I have a question for you. It's anybody uh, taking a screenshots and sending to the group, or do you want me to do it for you? It's better. I mean, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, I will send it later. No problem. So let's see here. One quick second. Let me just take the screenshot here quick. Oh, somebody sent it. Thank yes, you for I helping do. me. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Let's go with the next one. Oops, I forgot to um, clean this. Okay, there we go. So now we are going to do this exercise right here. So we have a uh, 10 situations there, but uh, we only have nine uh, uh, clauses there. So you have to match them. All right, for this one, people, um, I will send you to the breakout rooms so you will have the opportunity to discuss this with classmates all right, in a more private way so you have the opportunity to participate, okay? Uh, before I send you to the breakout rooms, let me check attendance. Uh, in the meantime, perhaps you can send this screenshot also to the group. Let's see. Uh, Alicia Choto. Yes. Thank you. Carlos Asensio. Uh, let me see. You see if it is connected. Uh, no. All right. Very good. Uh, Carolina Paz. Yes. Pizar Fernandez. Present. Thank you. Senia. Here, teacher. Thank you. George. Hello. Present. All right. Ingrid Flores. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Irma Segura. Present. Thank you. Um, Ivis Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Joanna Cetino. No. All right. Good. Um, it's this one. Jose Vaquerano. Jose, Jose. No. All right. Uh, let's see this one. Next one, Juan David. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Melissa. Yes. Present. All right. Kimberly Vasquez. Oh, hi, Kimberly. Um, Lucia Elena. Present. All right. So, Margarita Tobias. Present. Thank you. Mary Carranza. Mirroring, no, all right. Milagro, yes. Here I am, sir. Thank you. Mirna. 
Yes, it's there. Monica. No here. Nelson. Present. Thank you. Okay, Norma. Yes. Present teacher. Patricia. Patricia. Present. Well, the two Patricias. All right, so. Yes, yes. I, I'm right, here, then. teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Rene Alberto. Present. Thank you. Roberto Josue. Present. Thank you. Ronald Martinez. Present. Thank you. And Sandra Asensio. Present, teacher. Stephanie Quintanilla. I'm here. Thank you very much. All right, so now let's just continue with this one right here. What are we going to be working on this? It's going to be very simple. So we are going to choose or we are going to, you know, join these clauses with the sentences we have right here according to the information we have uh, here, right? As I said before, to do this exercise, we are going to do it in the breakup rooms, right? Super important, people. If someone cannot talk because, you know, it is on the way to, um, it is on the way home, driving or whatever, let me know so I can move you to a different room, okay? Do you have any questions? Uh, Janet Landos, let me see. Mm -hmm. Janet Landos de Luna. La compañera que no se podía conectar anoche. Ajá, veamos. Mirna. Ah, yeah, Mirna. Mirna Janet Landos de Luna. Yes, thank you. It's here. Okay, excellent. So, let me see. The breakup rooms right now. There you go. Excellent. All right. Everybody's going to be working in groups of two or three, the most. All right. So if you have questions or any problem, please call me so I can actually help you with that. Join the rooms, my friends. There you have the request. Juan David, any issue? No. George, you have any internet connection issues? No. Hello. Um, do you have any problem to join the the room? No. Yeah, I I, I have some problem. I don't know what what is happening with me right now. I don't know if it it is my telephone. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm doing it my phone or is the internet I having problems uh -huh. all right so let's see and you are assigned to the room number three okay let me reassign you to the to a different room okay okay let me see okay room number four can you see it now sure let me try. Please join it. Cesar, hello, Cesar. Hello. Uh, what happened? Were you disconnected? I, don't know. I uh, log out of the breaking room. Okay, I will assign you to a different. Who were you working with? I didn't uh, have time to catch to the practice. names. Okay, no problem. Let me let me send you to a different room then. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
tão mais de Hello? Okay. Hello, teacher. Do you have questions? Okay. Excuse me? Questions? No, teacher, the instructions are cl clear. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. In this, in this moment, uh, the number four, when a uh, friend uh, is sensitive and um, supported. Supporting. Supporting. Uh -huh. What do you think? It's your turn. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, in my case, I don't mean it. Uh -huh. I don't mean it. Uh, when a friend is sensitive, I support it. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> yeah. The number five. Number Number wow. five for me is I don't like it when people throw tries on the ground. Okay. Okay. Number and six. Number six. I love it when my friend throws uh, me a dinner. Treat me. Okay. Treat tips. Excuse me. Treat tips. Okay. All right. When my friend trip tips. So me to dinner, dinner. Treat me, okay. Number seven. Uh, I love it when I, when I get phone calls on my birthday. Okay, okay, okay. When strange uh, say me for money, um, uh in my case i don't like when a uh, strange uh, ask me for money i don't like <laughs> don't like it don't like it don't like okay. it okay. Okay. Uh, number nine uh, for me is uh, i can't stand it when people call me late at night okay. especially at midnight <laughs> Okay. Oh, Georgia sleep in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Problem. Okay. When a teacher is temperamental, I. Uh, it is brother me when a teacher are temperamental. Yes, it is. It's no problem in, me, in my case. So, oh, okay. Tengo una, tengo, tengo una duda, teacher. Tell me, tell me. It it does those those and brother me uh, in in the first imagine is only it uh, brother me. It bothers me. Bothers me. Perdón, yes. Bothers me. It doesn't. What 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 happened in the, in the Look. first imagine is is only it bother me. I don't in, include it. Uh, doesn't because remember it can be negative or affirmative right so for oh. example you can say me molesta it bothers me uh -huh. or no me molesta uh -huh. it doesn't bother doesn't me okay it doesn't bother me doesn't bother me okay okay thanks exactly thanks. all right so questions questions no is 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 it's fine that's fine, okay. all right? Okay, Excellent. that's fine, that's fine. You finish the homework, teacher. <laughs> you finish, volunteers, entonces. No, I, 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 I don't like when, when, <laughs> when a teacher uh, say me, I do a talk in public. <laughs> <laughs> tell me tell me in public <laughs> well you know good job applying the grammar right now but <laughs> that's it okay excellent so no yo, lo que, yo, lo que, yo lo que siento al hablar inglés eh, es la cuestión de que mi mente dice la palabra correctamente pero mi lengua como que va por otro lado ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> All right. sí o sea por ejemplo a veces es la cuestión de que se me va la pronunciación de ciertas palabras en, en, en medio. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, I know. You know, it happens. But you know what? It's just practice. To be honest, sometimes mm -hmm. the students ask me, teacher, how can I improve my fluency? And my answer, mm -hmm. it's the same all the time. You need to practice. Pero como, okay. like how, teacher? Conversation. I, 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 I only, only in, in my case, uh, I don't, don't, uh, don't can uh, speak with other other person. I, I only watch the movie in only English. Right. I, 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 I try to uh, repeat the, the words uh, or, um, uh, or, or, or uh, se puede decir? imitar, Imi imitation, uh -huh. imitate in, in the person uh, into say into film. I I I dialogue with dialogue dialogue. Mm -hmm. is, is dialogue. I have conversations. Uh, yes. Conversation with other uh, the uh, the person person in the field. That's actually correct. But you know what? There are some websites where you can talk to people from other countries. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah. I I I I in the, in the past I I I have uh, the girlfriend in 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 Philippines. A I, girlfriend I, in Philippines. Yes, yes, yes. I, I it, she speak English or full full time. I I I I I try. Volver, cómo se cómo se volver a. But but oh, volver yeah. a qué, my friend? Tell me. Yeah, volver a hablarle, o sea, volver a hablar con ella o contactar con ella, ¿no? To talk talk to her again. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, o sea, I talk to her uh, again. Again. Okay. Again. Again. Okay. Uh, the, the, for the practice practicing only. Okay. <laughs> All right, just for ah, okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, everybody, we are going to go back to the main session right now, okay? Okay, thanks, teacher. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody, to the main session. All right, so how was the practice? So you practice a lot with your classmates? Yes. Yes, great, excellent. So, well, now I would like to um, listen to some of your opinions of the possible answers to this one, right? So let's see here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is it? I need a volunteer who can help me with number one. Number one, please. Yes. The work of Rene. All right, Rene. Rene, all right, it says Rene right there. Tell me, number one. For me, it doesn't bother me when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. It doesn't bother me uh -huh. when uh, someone gives me an, a compliment on my clothes, right? Okay, so they say like, Hey, nice clothes, nice t-shirt, nice jeans, right? So good, good, good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. What about number two? Anybody else who wants to help me with number two? Yes. Number two, number two. I don't like it. Uh, you don't like it? Can you read it complete, please? I don't like it when people are direct and say what's on their mind. I don't like it. All right, excellent. Okay, yeah. you know, that's, thank you, right? I would personally say the opposite, right? But yes, it's okay. Uh, the next one is, he says here, no, we never already participated. Cesar, all right, Cesar? It embarrasses me uh -huh. when someone corrects my English in front of others. Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course. But, uh, okay, don't feel embarrassed when I correct you, right? Because that's my job, to correct your English, all right? So, let's see. 
Number four. Volunteer for number four. I love it when a friend is sensitive and supportive. Thank you, Marion. Oh, I remember you were the girl with the nice fluency in the room last night. Yeah, the last class. Yeah. All right. So, get. Okay. Can you repeat it again? It. I love it. Oh, when I love a friend it. is right. sensitive and supportive. I love. Oops. I love it. Very good, sensitive and supportive. Of course, a great friend, right? Uh, Roberto Miranda. Okay. Uh, I, it bothers me when I, uh, when people throw trash on the ground. Yeah, it bothers me as well. It bothers me. Very good, right? It bothers me. Very good. And then you go with the next one there. Um, next one, next one. Mm -hmm. Come on, people. You have practiced this uh, exercise before. Mm -hmm. It makes me happy. I'm happy. It makes me to dinner. I'm sorry, uh, Milagro. Can you repeat it again? It makes me happy when a friend takes me to dinner. Oh, yeah, of course. Especially if there are pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, I can see Cesar wants to participate again. Go ahead, my friend. I love it when I get phone calls on my, on my birthday. Of course. All right. So thank you. I can see Alicia also wants to participate for number eight. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. It really upsets me when uh, strangers ask me for money. We, of course, right? So, right? It really upsets me. It really upsets me. Upsets me. Oops. Well, what happens? Mm -hmm. When um one second people right there in the number eight, what is it? And number nine. Oh number nine, I'm sorry. Yes. Number nine. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, number nine. Mm -hmm. I can stand it. Oh yeah, I can <laughs> stand it. Uh -huh, I can stand in. Yes, in my like at midnight and they call you. Right. So mm -mm. all right. So like that one. And the last one. Oh, I don't mind when teachers are temperamental. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see. <laughs> let's see here. I mean, I am not right, but just in case. All right. Just in case. It's okay. Exactly. All right. So I don't mind when teachers are temperamental. All right. Very good. Thank you. And thank you for helping me with the exercise and for participating in the activity. All right. Questions about vocabulary, my friends? No questions? Okay. No questions. No questions. No. Thank you. All right. So let's continue with the next activity. Well, now I want to show you here an expression. All right. Get on your nerves. It says right here. Please repeat it. Get on your nerves. Your nerves. All right, so you can modify this part right here, and instead of having your, you can have my talking yes, about personally, right? Get on my nerves. Get on my right? nerves. Get on my nerves. Get on my nerves. Exactly. Get and on my what nerves. is the meaning of get on my nerves? <laughs> mm -hmm. In you know? Spanish. <laughs> you want to use a Spanish to translate it, Patricia? Uh, como me pone los nervios de punta. That is exactly the expression in Spanish, right? Okay. So, okay, now let me ask you this question, guys, so you can give me some ideas. What gets you or, or what gets on your nerves? Watching mm -hmm. a scary movie. Watching a scary movie, all right? So, okay. But you know what? This is no like, um, Mary, mm -hmm. not like like you get like like the goosebumps, you know, mm -hmm. when you this one, right? Get get on someone's nerves. It's just like kind of bothering, you know, like mm -hmm. it bothers you. It 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 upsets you. So, oh, you don't like to watch horror movies? No, it was more like uh, when you get tense or ah, uh, yeah, like no. you get the chills of something. No, not not actually when that happens, right? So, get on your nerves. It's just like. Something that, as Patricia says, it, it represents something that bothers you, you know? 
Okay. All right. So what would be something that gets on your nerves? I will give you an example. Something that gets on my nerves, it's when I, I am in a hurry and people are walking slowly in front of mm -hmm. me. All right. So what okay. else? What examples can you give? It can be something that gets on my nerves, uh, people who doesn't respect another. People who doesn't respect mm -hmm. others, of course. Others. Right? Others person. What else? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Oh my God. That's correct. All right. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, you know, San Salvador, right? Very good. Yes. What else? Um, when it's very late at night and the neighbors are very noisy. The neighbors are very noisy. It's true. It's true. It's, but at night, of course, you know, in, during the day, well, Actually, that affects me because I'm trying to teach a class sometimes and my neighbors have cumbiones there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, or let's see. What else? What else? Oh, you know, now that I see the picture there, like the image, you can see me on the screen right now. Something that it gets on my nerves is when I am trying to sleep at night and the dogs are barking. Barking. <laughs> oh, For me, it's, uh, I get on my nerves when I see uh, people cutting with a knife something oh like that um, oh my goodness yeah well, all right so uh-huh what about you patricia i get on my nerves when somebody uh, goes in the front on, on on a line when i'm doing my line when and you somebody at the, in the bank somebody goes direct on the front <laughs> All right, and you go like, oh my God, I was here first. All yeah. right, so, yeah. yes, I know. Hey, Evis, tell me. Okay, uh, it's getting on my, ne on my nerves uh -huh. when someone <laughs> tells their point of view and, and, and other people that are in the meeting or at, are in the same group, loud of their point of view. Oh, they laugh. Of course, yeah, that's unrespectful, of wow. course, right? So they don't respect the person's opinion. So yes, absolutely, of course, that makes sense, all right? Any other situation you would like to, to share? That gets uh, on your nerves? Yeah, my nerves and my, my girlfriend say me no. Oh my, oh my God. God. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? Oh my God, what a question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay that's like too much information but thank you for the example my friend oh my yeah, goodness just kidding all right I'm so kidding. yeah uh, he said like it my depends girlfriend on says, the situation right exactly i was thinking i was thinking that specifically right but i'm not going to ask for more details that's all all right thank you uh, any other details i mean any other situation that gets on your nerves? Mm -hmm. When someone is eating it and, and is making noise. When... Oh, yes. Making that noise when somebody's eating, right? So that's like uncomfortable, right? To listen to. And sometimes it's even worse when you see that. Uh -huh. What else? What else? I am getting my nerves when I out of gas in the car and it's still in traffic. have to run about 40 miles. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So yeah, absolutely, right? So it's just like this. And, and especially when there is no gas station. No here. gas station it's near. Near, uh -huh. exactly. Exactly, right? So thank you. Anything else? Mm -hmm. What else meant to get on your nerves? Going to the hospital. Maybe maybe, maybe it is a, a, a little weird, but okay. Uh, it gets on my nerves when so, uh, someone is driving okay. and turns on the side light, but never crosses. <laughs> um... Yeah, I understand you definitely, right? I so, mean, or... you 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 are on the back and one hundred meters, two hundred meters, and never crosses. Aha, uh -huh, right. So, or it's it's even I would say it's even worse when they don't activate them and they cross. Oh yes, yes. yeah, that's in even worse. Case, in my case, that's uh, a little lighter than that they have it uh, turned on and, and and never cross. 
Oh, I see. All right. I got your point, right? So, all right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Because everybody. you are expecting that they are going to cross. So. Exactly, right? So, yeah. Well, let's just continue right now with the next one right here, which is this next activity. Take a look at this one. So, we have a question right here. How do you feel about these situations? What situations would you say? Well, I will show you one by one four different situations, and then you can tell me how would you feel about those situations there, all right? So what's the first one? It says here, I need a volunteer who can help me to read the first situation. Who can help me to read? You have met with your best friend in a restaurant for dinner, but you have been waiting for over 30 minutes and he has not arrived yet. Okay, thank you very much, George. All right, so how do you feel about that, huh? Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I hate it. You hate it waiting. I guess everybody hates waiting. Like you know, if you, yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah, you, you feel, it... uh -huh. go ahead. No, but I feel like uh, uh desperate, and desperate. what happens, and I have to go, and I have to live, and what's going on, everything happens in the head, in in our head. Exactly right, especially when you have made. Um, a great effort, right, to be in that place, right, in, and yeah. then the person doesn't actually respect your time, for example, all right, so thank you. Hey, I wanted to hear uh, someone else about the same situation, waiting. Roberto, is that you? Yes. All right. Tell it, me. Bothers me. it bothers me when I am waiting for a people and we have the, an appointment or something. All right, exactly, right, so it's it's like something that desperate, all right? So, uh -huh. anybody desperate. else wants to share his or her opinion? I think it depends on the situation, but I don't mind waiting like 15 minutes, but, but if we're talking about half half an hour, it's it, it can be annoying. Yeah, yeah, of course, right? Because at that point, you don't know, like, should I should I uh, eat by myself or, or, or should I wait for you, right? So what happens? All right, so yes, definitely, right? Who else wants to share uh, his or her thoughts about this one? Mm -hmm. One more, please. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Uh -huh. I will ask Senia because I can see Senia here. All right, Senia. Hello, Senia. The microphone, my friend. Senia, Senia. Sorry, teacher, I have problems with my microphone. Okay, no problem. Tell me, how would you feel about that situation? Um, I feel disappointed because uh, maybe when we have many times, it doesn't matter, but when you just have one hour for lunch or something like that, <laughs> or in dinner, for example. All right. Uh, yeah, yes. of course, right? Yes, of course, of course. Thank you, Senio, for sharing your thoughts, all right? Let's just go with the uh, next one right here. Oh, Renee, want to share something? Uh, for me, it doesn't bother me when people have a, a, a lay for a meeting. And uh -huh. I only, I use staying with patient and read a book or look my cell phone. Look for my cell phone. All right. Very good. So you see, people, remember, there is no correct or incorrect answer. It's just an opinion, right? So for some of you, it can be something right. annoying. For some of you, it can be something, it's okay, I understand, all right? But I agree with someone to, who said it depends, of course, right? So thank you. Now, let's see. Let's continue with the next one. Who can help me to read that one, please? Uh -huh. Just reading. Come on, people. Oh, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you. Thank you. You keep receiving annoying calls from your insurance company because they want you to change your contract. Aha. Uh -huh. Excellent. So what is an insurance company, my friends? Vivir as a Suiza. Insurance company. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a company that offers insurance like and to mm -hmm. protect you, look, when to have a, an accident, your health. And, 
Father. with the car, with your house, right? Mm -hmm. Father. Exactly, but right? I, 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 actually, I think uh, not just the insurance company had this this uh, things to us. I mean, uh, the telephone companies uh, yes. are the, the, the most, I think so. And also the banks. The banks, of course. Oh, my goodness, right? So the banks the, call you, they say like, Hello, good morning, good evening. We have an offer for you, and you go like, I don't have time, and they call you back again all of every day, right? And and, sure. and and something that bothered me a lot is uh hotel las hojas or something like that that invite us to to take <laughs> some dinner. Telephone uh, companies. I, too. I I hate that. Oh really? Yeah, oh, las, yeah I don't. Las, las hojas. Oh my goodness. No, that, that is an example of of, of the place, but. I don't, I, I have never received a call from La Soja's resort, right? So no, I will no. say, yes, take me there. <laughs> if you so, want, I tell a person that I can call no, you That's to you. fine. I'm okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't want to okay. be bothered. <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Anybody else who wants to share his or her opinion regarding this situation? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hi, people, you're very shy. Mm -hmm. What happens? So, for example, Milagro there, what happens? With, like, do you receive calls or do you make calls, Milagro? Uh, depending on your job. No. I I receive, I'm receiving calls, um, but from Tigo. Oh, Tigo. Every day they call me. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. To, to get another contract. Yes. They want to give me another advice. Device, device. Device. Uh -huh. They want to give me another device. But of course, I, I of course I have to pay more. Yeah. Uh -huh. so but the internet, uh -huh. but the internet is, is not a stable. Here in the border, they give a bad service. Mm -hmm. Is there any mm -hmm. company that works better than Tigo over there? Um, I want to change it for Claro. Claro, Claro is better. Okay. Because in the borders, uh -huh, Claro is better. Okay, cool. Excellent. Thank you. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for participating. Let's see the next activity here. Who can help me to read it? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alicia. Okay, you're studying for a very important exam, and the people next door start practicing for a rock concert. Imagine this one, all right? So you are studying, or you're like for a, for a very important exam, and then your neighbor starts with music, right? Well, the example here says practicing for a rock, a rock concert, but if you are a Salvadorian person, you know that <laughs> that is not possible. It will be whatever, but not rock, right? So maybe reggaeton yes. or cumbion, right? Reggaeton. So, exactly, right? How would you feel? Mm -hmm. Yes. What are you I can stand it. You can stand it, yeah. right? Would you talk to them? Would you call the police, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. I don't know. <laughs> All right understand and uh, let's see this one uh-huh anybody else who wants to share this situation or have you ever been in that situation like trying to sleep but you know yeah i could be disappointed <laughs> disappointed all right yes okay cool let's see this one right here uh, let's just go with the last one to see what it says patricia can you help me to read it yes let me see Okay, your boss calls you to work at the weekend, but you have romantic plans for your with your partner. Imagine this situation. You have been waiting the whole week to see your partner, right? And then your boss is like, hello, you have to work on the weekend. It's like, oh my God, no, right? How would you feel? It, it really upset me. <laughs> Of course. Uh huh. What about the yeah. rest? Ah, Juan David, yes. who talk about the girlfriend. Tell oh, me. Oh yeah. I don't go to work. Go <laughs> to work? Is, is okay. yes. It says, "Say, say, you're." Uh, this is like jealous scene, right? My God. 
<laughs> All right, so like that. And what else? What else? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's really disgusting situation. It's better not to pick up the phone. It's better to pick up the phone. It's like, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't. You know, I didn't see it. it. I didn't hear. I didn't hear. I didn't, re I didn't receive. I never received the call. All right, so I don't know what happens. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay, what else? What else would you do? Anything else? Imagine if, if you have a, reser a reservation. It's really it's disgusting. Harder, right? So because yeah. you have pace, you know, in advance sometimes. Yeah. All right, yes. excellent. So, well, uh, besides those four situations that I show you here, is there any other particular situation that it bothers you a lot? Um, mm -hmm. No. Mm -mm. It really bothers me when I I met a uh, first time a person younger than me and disrespectful and say uh, I don't know how to to say that word in English, uh, bocear. Well, it seems that uh -huh. that doesn't exist in English, but they actually it don't use. I have uh -huh, because remember it's you, right? So. Yeah, I know, but in Spanish, it yeah. exists. <laughs> I I understand. So well, in that case, it would be uh -huh. just like um, like it bothers me when someone younger than me uh, approaches to me in an unpolite way. Will be yeah, um, unpolite like way. Like you know, approaches to me in an unpolite way because remember, approaches means like you know they get close to you and say like, for example, it says like, excuse me, uh, Mirna, I mean, or Milagro or whatever, right? So, uh, and say like, hey, what's up? That's like, for example, in English, right? In English, we have to go like, excuse me, may I talk to you? Can I ask you a question or anything like that? And the informal mm -hmm. way will be like, hey, what's up, fool? How are you doing? Right? So that's not possible. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, but with your friends, of course, right? What happened, really? Mm -hmm. it really bothers me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So understand, understand. All right. Anybody else who tells me what else bothers you? Um, Maybe it bothers me. It really bothers me when I am in the store, uh -huh. specifically in the dollar, <laughs> in the... Um, the police is the follow me like if the security I, guard. I will stall the security, like if I will stall all all the all the things that that I am seeing. Oh my god! But you know, I guess what? that's something super common, right? In every store or supermarket, you know. Yes, but in the dollar is very very common. It's very common, all right? So yeah, I can imagine, right? Yeah, it bothers you because. They basically are accusing you, right, of doing something over there. Yes. Okay, excellent. So, well, I don't want you to tell me it bothers me when it's nine o'clock and the teacher doesn't finish the class, right? So, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, okay, so let's continue then. Now you're just kidding, just kidding. All right, so everybody, thank you very much for joining the class, participating, and working on the activities as well. I will see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we have classes. All right. So I will yeah. see you here tomorrow. Okay. Yes. okay. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. That's really bother me. Oh That's really God. bother me. Tomorrow uh, classes yeah, bother no. me. Yeah. But you didn't have classes on Monday. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. Yes, but Friday is Friday. <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway, Wait, it's okay. Tomorrow okay. is Black Friday. So we'll have promotions here also. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Black Friday. All right. Excellent. Have a good night, okay. everybody. Have a nice day. Okay. Nice. Bye. 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 B